Today we were going to discuss how to build a truth table for a compound proposition. For example, we're going to consider the compound proposition, the quantity p implies q, and the quantity not q or not r. I've already built my truth table rows for my three propositional variables. I'll have eight rows, as in the previous video. But in order to do this compound proposition, you want to split it into smaller pieces. To do that, let's consider our compound proposition as follows. I've got two things that are combined by an and. The and is the last thing to be done. So I'm going to split these two things into the proposition p implies q and the proposition not q or not r. When I look at the p implies q, I see that what I have to my implies is a p and a q, and these are each separate variables. Since these things are already represented in my truth table, so I can combine these two to form this column. Over here, I see I have an or, and coming into that, I have a not q and a not r. And so the not q, I can feed in a q and do the not operation, and the not r, I can feed in an r and do the not operation. So what I need to do is I need to add four more columns, one for p implies q, one for not q or not r, one for not q, and one for not r. By adding those new columns, it'll be able to uh, keep my work and be able to make sure I don't make mistakes. Now I've constructed the rest of my truth table by adding my extra columns. And keep in mind that this column, this compound proposition, combines these two by an and. And this column combines these two by an or. So let's go and fill in these not operations by looking and flipping what we see in the Q and the R. Now that we've finished, we can see that we have, now we just need to do, combine these two columns via the or operation to build this, which is very simple. And there we are, we have our column with the complete values. Now for the P implies Q, we just need to look at the P and Q columns and combine them with the implication operation. There we are, we have the implication operation completed. And now to finish this column, I just need to take these two columns and take the and operation. And there we have it, our column is now complete, and we can verify it by checking all of our work along these columns.